Welcome to your Wheel of Theodorus art project. So you just read up a little bit about Theodorus, and that's about all we know about him, actually. Uh, Theodorus lived in the 5th century, and he was a philosopher and mathematician, and he is very well known for his one theorem, um, sometimes called the spiral or wheel of Theodorus. So in this lesson video, I'm going to show you what that looks like, where we can see it in nature, and I'm going to show you how to construct your own wheel of Theodorus. Okay, first of all, this is the, the triangle construction that Theodorus came up with. It's a spiral shape made up of a bunch of right triangles. Oops, let me get a smaller pen here. And so you'll notice that all of these right here are right triangles. Okay, and so he constructed this um, in a certain way, and we'll learn about that more later, but for now I'm going to show you how to create your own. First of all, you've probably seen this shape before in nature. Here are a few examples of some similar uh, variations of the Wheel of Theodorus. And so this mathematical theorem and this mathematical construction um, is actually something that occurs um, naturally. Kind of interesting. Can you think of any other places in nature where you've seen this spiral shape? Okay, well, I'm going to teach you now to construct your own Wheel of Theodorus, and here's what you're going to need. Um, you need a pencil, no less than two pieces of paper, a ruler, and coloring utensils. You can use watercolors, colored pencils, markers, crayons, whatever you'd like. Okay, on this page I'm going to show you how to construct your Wheel of Theodorus. Um, I want you to imagine that this uh, white background here is my piece of paper. Um, this is obviously my pencil. Here's the extra sheet of paper that I have and my ruler. Okay, so you're going to be doing this on a piece of paper with, with your own physical ruler and a pencil. Okay, but I'm just going to show you how to do it here on my smart board. Okay, first things first, what we are going to do is we need to draw a circle at the center of our sheet. Okay, so we just have a dot here at the center of our sheet. And this is where all of our triangles, our right triangles, are going to stem from. From this circle, we are going to draw a line that is one inch long. And I think I'll actually use my line tool so it looks prettier. Okay, so we want one that's exactly one inch long. That's why I've got my ruler here. Okay, next we need to construct a 90 degree angle for this triangle. And so if you have a protractor, you can use a protractor, but that's what the sheet of paper is going to be for. The sheet of paper, all of the corners are 90 degree angles. So we're just going to use this sheet of paper kind of as a protractor and a guide for helping us find a 90 degree angle. And while I'm at it, maybe let's change the color of this so it doesn't look so much like our paper. Okay, so I'm going to shimmy up that paper right there next to it. And then bring up your ruler, and we're going to draw one more one-inch length right there. So give me just a sec. There we go. So we're going to draw one other one-inch length. Maybe it needs to go a little further, huh? Okay. Take our ruler away. Take our paper away. And there we go. There's a one-inch leg length, another one-inch leg length and a 90 degree angle between them. Okay, last we need to just connect these two uh, lengths to make, these two legs to make the hypotenuse of this right triangle. You might want to use your ruler to help you make the straight line that connects them. It should look something like that. Okay, so we've just drawn the first triangle in our Wheel of Theodorus. Now it's time to draw another one. Alright, so the trick with this is that this leg length right here, well this, sorry, this hypotenuse right here is going to be the leg length in my next triangle. So this hypotenuse in the first triangle is the leg in the next triangle. And so we need to construct a 90 degree angle right here. So let's grab our paper and we're going to angle it a little bit. So we can get 90 degrees right here. Okay, and then get our ruler here as well. 
And we need it to be one inch long again. So all of the lengths that we're going to draw from now on for leg lengths are going to be one inch. So there's a one inch leg length right there with a 90 degree angle in between it. Then we draw the line that connects the two with the hypotenuse. I wish I could draw those a little bit closer. Okay, there we go. So there is triangle number two. And then hopefully you can see a pattern. We're just going to keep doing this over and over until we have 17 triangles. Okay, so you can go 17 is um, as many were, as were in that picture that I showed you before of the Wheel of Theodorus, and that's as many as I'll require you to make. But just know that you can continue making triangles as long as you want, but after 17 they start to overlap a little bit. And that's fine. So if you want to keep doing more than 17, that's fine. It, it does look pretty cool once you keep going. But you need to have at least 17. Okay, so just got one more on here. Okay, and just to reiterate, I'm going to, um, you guys just keep drawing the triangles, but let me show you something here. So remember, these are all the 90 degree angles for my right triangles. And this side length was one inch, right? We drew that to be one inch. And then this one was one inch. That leg length was one inch. And that leg length was one inch. Every single leg length around my spiral will be, will be one inch long. Okay, so you don't need to draw in those numbers. That's just me showing you about it. Um, but go ahead and keep drawing those triangles till you have 17 of them. So when you're done and you have those 17 triangles done, it will look something like this. Notice this is 17 of them, but, and if you kept drawing more, you could, but they would just start to overlap. Okay, next up in this assignment is you need to turn your Wheel of Theodorus into art. Like I said, this, this spiral shape is in nature all around us. And so maybe you can turn your spiral on your piece of paper into something that you've seen in nature. Or maybe you can get a little bit more creative with it. Here are some examples from, uh, from students' past submissions. I had somebody turn it into a sun, and they actually used watercolors for their picture. Another student used um, colored pencils to draw a snail shell, which is probably a naturally occurring uh, spiral shape anyways. So that was pretty interesting. And then also I've had this student, you'll see she did her 17 and then continued on to make a hat, and that looked pretty cool. So those are some examples of some great submissions. Okay, your grading rubric for this assignment. Um, includes these four parts. First, you need to draw the Wheel of Theodorus, and you need to look over here for the maximum amount of points. It needs to be constructed correctly and carefully. The lines are all straight, the angles measure 90 degrees, and the leg measurements are correct, meaning all those leg lengths were one inch long. Okay, the triangles. For full points, you need to construct all 17 triangles. No less. You can do more, but no less. Creativity. The student showed obvious effort to creatively turn their Wheel of Theodores into something. Okay, it's just alternating colors on it is not creative. So think of something creative that you can do for it. And then the color. Student put a lot of effort into color, in to color the Wheel of Theodores. If you fill it in or shade it in with just a pencil, that's not going to cut it. So use this grading rubric to help you know what, will, uh, what an assignment worth full points will look like. Okay, good luck and have fun.